This is a video tutorial in which I'm going to teach you how to create a multiple schedule with three or more components within Snap Plus Core First. To get started, I'm first going to create a component in which all reinforcers are available to be requested. To get started, I'm first going to modify this folder and create a green component in which all reinforcers are available. So first, I'm going to select the settings icon at the top right and I'm going to change the name of this folder from your topic one to green. So I do this by selecting on the folder and then under button and then label, I'm going to change your topic one to the label green and select done at the top right. As you can see, Snap Plus Core First has auto-populated an image. You can choose to keep this image or you can delete this image by selecting the settings icon here at the top right, going back to the button that you'd like to edit, and choosing to X out the picture, and select Done. Now that I've created my first folder, I'm going to select the folder and create the reinforcers that are available within this folder. So I'm going to do this by creating some FCR buttons. To do this, I'm first going to start at the settings icon at the top right and choose this plus sign to create a new button. For this first label, this reinforcer is going to be a tangible item and it's going to be a truck. So I'm going to type in the word truck. As you can see again, Snap Plus Core First has auto-populated the image. You can choose to change this image by selecting directly on the image and scrolling or you can choose to change the image by selecting the camera button and uploading a photo that's already on your device or by selecting the camera and choosing to take a picture directly of the reinforcer. Now that I have my first FCR button, I can hit done at the top right. I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple more reinforcers for this client. So to do that, again, I'm gonna to go to the settings icon at the top right and select the plus button here. This next reinforcer is going to specify a preferred form of attention, such as tickles. So on the label, I'm going to type in the word tickles. Again, you can see Snap Plus Core First has auto-populated an image. I'm going to select this image and change it, which matches the relevant reinforcer, and select Done. Now I'm going to create two more FCR buttons. Again, I'm going to go back to the settings icon, select the plus sign. This next reinforcer is going to be an edible reinforcer, and I'm going to type in the word cookie. I can change the image if I'd like, and I'm going to select this one and select done. I'm going to create one more reinforcer and this last reinforcer is going to be another tangible item and it's going to be the iPad. So on the label I'm going to type in the word iPad. As you can see an image of an iPad has popped up and select done. Now that I have reinforcers programmed on this page, I'm going to change the discriminative stimuli to signal green which shows that all reinforcers are available. To do this I'm going to select the settings icon at the top and select page down here at the bottom. On the left, I'm going to choose style and I'm going to untoggle the automatically populated gray. And under color, I'm going to choose the color that I need, which is green, and select done. Lastly, I can change the name of this page. So instead of saying topic, your topic one, I can change it to say green. So I'm going to do this going back to the settings icon and then selecting page down here at the bottom. Then under label, I'm going to change your topic one to the word green and selecting done. Now that I've created one component of my multiple schedule, I can create a direct copy of this component and then modify as needed. So to do this, I'm going to go back with my back arrow, and now I'm going to create a new component, which would be a purple component in which only attention is available to be requested. So to do this, I'm going to select the settings icon here at the top right, and I'm going to choose an available spot or a folder for which I can program my purple component. So I'm going to choose this folder here. 
To copy to a page of which I've already created, I'm gonna to go to link to page here on the left side. Then I'm gonna select the pencil here, and then I'm gonna click link to copy of page. To find the page that I just created quickly, I'm gonna to go to recently opened, and then as you can see here, green has popped up. So I'm gonna do two things. I'm first gonna select on green, and then I'm gonna actually type the name of the page in the bar where it says name, and then hit create. Then select done at the top right. Now, if I hit your topic one, you can see I've made a direct copy of the green page. So I'm gonna edit this by first going back and renaming this topic folder to purple, since this will be the purple component. So to do this, I'm gonna to go to the settings icon, and select the button that I would just modified. I'm gonna change my label from your topic to purple. And then I'm gonna to choose to not have an image and select done. Now I can go directly into the folder and I'm gonna modify this page to match the purple component. So in this component, attention is only available to be requested, but I'm going to leave the other FCR buttons available. But I am going to program the discriminative stimuli to match the component. So to do this, I'm going to go to the settings icon here at the top right and page down here at the bottom. On the left, I'm going to choose style and under color, I'm going to change my background color from green to purple. Again, I can change the name of this page from green to purple. So here at the left, I can just select page and change the page label from green to purple. And select done. Now I have a component in which I can demonstrate at the right and then selecting the button that you'd like to edit, which is this white one here and then going to style and choosing to change the background color, which is right here. So from white, I'm gonna change it back to this light yellow color so it matches the other buttons, and then select done. Now that I've modified the name of my folder red, I can go into the folder and program it to signal extinction. So in this component, it's going to be red and no reinforcers would, no requests would be reinforced. So I'm gonna select the settings icon and change the background page to red. So I'm gonna select page and then select style here on the left and change the color from green to red. Now I can change the name of the page from green to red by selecting page here at the left and changing the label from green to red and select done. Now I've created a component in which I have an extinction component in which no requests would be reinforced and a green component which all available reinforcers can be requested and a purple component in which only attention would be available. I can create another component in which only tangible reinforcers would be available. Again, to do this, I can select the settings icon and choose to link to a new page by selecting the link button and link to a copy of a page. Again, I can go back to recently opened and choose the green one that I first began with and type in the word green. And select create. Again, you can see that Snap Plus Core First has modified the button to be white. If I want it to match again, I can just go here to style on the left and change the color background from white to the light yellow. I can also change the name of the button from green to yellow, which is going to signal that only tangible reinforcers are available. So to do this, I can go to content here on the left and change the label name from green to yellow. Now that I've changed the folder, I can go into the folder 
and modify it to match the yellow component. So in this component, only tangible reinforcers would be available. So what I'm gonna do is I can change the background color from green to yellow by selecting the settings icon and going to page. I'm gonna go to style here on the left and change the color from green to yellow. I can also change the name of the page as before by going to page here on the left and changing the label from green to yellow. And select done. Now I have several folders that signal different components of a multiple schedule in which you can use to show that some reinforcers are available but not all. Another method to signal which reinforcers are available or not available is to program all of the reinforcers on an available page and then change the color of that FCR button. So for example, you may want to show that the truck and iPad are currently available, but Cookie and Tickles are not available to be requested. So you can change the individual buttons. So to do this, I'm first going to select the settings icon at the top right and change the button that I would like to edit. So I'm going to start with this top button here, truck. And I'm going to change the background of the button by going to style here on the left and then scrolling until I see button background, which is right here. I'm going to select this color and I'm going to change it to green to show that it's available. Next, I can modify another button by selecting done and then selecting the settings icon and choosing the next button that I would like to show either available or not available. So the next button that is available is iPad. So I'm gonna again change that to green. And select done. For the purposes of this example, currently Cookie and Tickles are not available reinforcers. So I'm gonna change the background of those buttons to red. I'm gonna select the settings icon again. And this time I can change multiple buttons at a single time by selecting the multi-select button here. So I'm going to select this button and then I'm going to select the two buttons that I'd like to change to red. And then I would like to select the button background here from white to red. And then select done. Now you can see that certain reinforcers are programmed to show availability and some are not available.